Hello and good morning everyone. It's a beautiful morning today and it's forecast rain all day tomorrow. So have to get out and do something today. And I've been putting this off for well over a year, probably even longer. Sun's right in my eyes, that's better. Yes, I've been putting it off and that is these two Euonymus, this one here, and this smaller one here. They are one of the very few things that were in my garden when I moved here. So they're very old and very strong and very tough and I think that they can take anything I throw at them and I want to try and make them into little topiary balls. I do not know how this is going to work out. It could be a disaster, but if it is, I will take you on my journey and we will have this in the collection of things not to try. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, yes, it could be a disaster. Let's do it anyway. What do we have to lose? Apart from some euonymuses, euonymi, euonymuses, what's the plural? I'm going to try this one first because this has just one trunk. Admittedly, it's like that, but it only has one. That one has two branches. So for that one, it's advanced training, that one, because I've got to pick which one to cut off. Let's just have a look at this one. And it's very wonky. But I think we could give it a go. This branch here is all this stuff here. If I pull it down, that's what we would be left with. That, well, I think that's a good starting point. Let's take this bottom one off. Whoa, there we go. Step one. Okay, I'm feeling braver now. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do. Is there any more branches I can take? Let's take this bottom branch here. That can go. I think what I'll do is cut all the tips shorter to kind of round it a bit. Kind of in a ball as much as possible. And keep standing back. That's very important. Else, they've had a little trim. I'm going to cut off all the bits that are losing the variegation, such as that. After a while, they do revert, so we don't want it to do that. So I'm going to just chop those bits off. And this bit here. I'm not sure. It's a ball. It's not a ball, is it? Oh, what about if I cut this one off? Yes, let's just do it. Hmm. Getting bold now. Take that off. Oh dear, <laughs> it's a good job I'm not a hairdresser, isn't it? Well, I have to be honest with you, it was never going to be a topiary ball, was it? On a standard, looking like a standard, like this one I have over here. Because it hasn't been trained like that. Yeah. But it's had a nice prune. And uh, shall we go and try the other one? In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say in Britain. 
Specimen number two, now I'm advanced. I've completed basic training. This is advanced maneuvers and I need coffee for strength and alertness. Let's have a look because this one, it has two branches and I need to decide which is going. Let's just do it. Goodness, there are bigger problems in the world. Right, are you ready? This one's going to reveal possible disaster. Actually, I probably need a saw. It would certainly help if I looked after my tools, like everybody else does, and that they were sharp. <laughs> This is not sharp at all. Mm -hmm. Need a better tool. Gonna need a bigger boat. Richard must never see this video. He will know I've taken his tools from his beloved workshop. And this blade probably take the brunt of it. Beast working. Let's hope he doesn't come home right this minute. Oh. I've got it stuck. <laughs> oh my god. Just gentle. No need to use a lot of effort. Let the tool do the work. I'm nearly there. My body's not built for this sort of exercise. We're there. We're there, everyone. Right. Are you ready to see what's left? <laughs> Here we go. It's all intermingled. Ta da! Look at all this. Well, you've got a better view than I have. Let me come and have a look. So, let's just shape it a little bit. This has got room to breathe. And we'll take off these long bits. And you know what? It's surprising how quickly they grow because I have chopped these down in the past and then they grew back as big as you've just seen. I have some terrible news. Richard has just come home. He's going to see what I'm doing. Let's get his true reaction. Let's see, here he comes. Richard, yes. I need your help. And you might be angry with me. Sorry? You might be angry with me, that's why I'm filming. Why is that? Because I've used your hacksaw. What? Oh. And you stuck? No, I just oh, thought, what? oh my god, Richard's coming home, he's going to see I've used his tools. What? Oh, thank that's you. That's what the tools are there for. Would you mind finishing it for me? That's why I filmed you. <laughs> so that you have to be nice to me. That's not right, as long as it goes back in the same place. It's the wrong type of saw. Oh. I don't know why. Okay. Yay! Thank you, Richard. Oh, no. oh, you're <laughs> Cheers. Oh, you're oh, you... Thanks, Rich. Have I made a difference? Yes, I've made a difference. There's no denying that. 
Is it a difference for the better? Yes, there's more light and airiness and the euonymus will grow. It will, because I've done this before, not quite so drastically. Yeah, whatever, as I said before, it's not the end of the world. There are bigger problems that people are facing. So, uh, <laughs> I've had a little bit of fun. It's very sunny today. So, I hope you're having fun in your garden. It's forecast rain all day tomorrow. So, I uh, hope you're having fun in your gardens. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not advising you to hack away at your euonymus. But uh, if you want to have a go, don't blame me. Take care everyone, I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener and I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching, bye!